all praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us this day of Jumu'ah. A gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed the ummah of Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with. A day in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said was prevented from being granted to nations before us. And a day in which those nations before us will be jealous of this ummah. A day which is considered the day of Eid in the week of a believer. Thus, we find from the sunan of this, this particular day acts that are found as part of the sunan on the day of Eid. And to make manifest how grand this day is, O servants of Allah and O children of Adam, there is a hadith which I often repeat on the day of Jumu'ah, which is worthy of repetition. It's a hadith which is found in the Sahih and the other books of hadith and narrated by many Sahaba, such as Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. In it, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, أَفْضَلُ يَوْمٍ طَلَعَتْ عَلَيْهِ الشَّمْسِ يَوْمْ الْجُمُعَةِ فِيهِ خُلِقَ آدَمِ وفيه أدخل الجنة وفيه أخرج منها ولا تقوم الساعة إلا في يوم الجمعة That the best day upon which the sun rises is the day of Jumu'ah. The best day upon which the sun rises is the day of Jumu'ah. On this day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam. And on this day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala entered him into Jannah. And on this day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removed him from Jannah. And he says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the coming of the hour will not occur and happen except on the day of Jumu'ah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people of Jannah when the coming of the hour occurs. Ameen.